there really isn't anything else behind it. It does sound cool to us, like, you know, that yeah. FN album, you know, like. Yeah, and it, and it did kind of influence the direction of the songs because you kind of, kind of, you almost limit your, uh, your, your headspace and, and what you can sing about because I mean obviously there's only so many words with the letter F and subject matter with the letter F right so I think that kind of was a cool kind of creative uh, function I guess. I also like whenever you're writing a record to me it's always been really important to have a concept behind it yeah. um, and when you don't have a concept it kind of just feels like a band trying to write songs and having people um, you know and, and being good enough those songs being good enough to sell and and uh, I've always believed that going bigger is always more exciting. And you know, when you turn on a Pink Floyd album and, and you you hear Dark Side of the Moon, yeah. there's a theme behind that. You know, there's a there's a feeling, there's a vibe. And the wall is like a great example of something like that. Uh, this is by no means the wall. We're not trying to say that. Well, but personality, trying to make something have personality, uh, a soul, you know, if you will, something just to kind of identify this album as um, its own. You know, not that it's you know something that's never been done before but it's just it, I think it's um, our own uh, musical kind of child if you will you know just kind of I think a good uh, like, yeah you know that F album also sounds like what this is and, and, and that's a punk rock album I mean um, there's lots of influences from from metal to to 80s pop uh, that are that are going on in this album and, and you'll see that songs like uh, fools in hyperspace uh, is it's it, is like it, Depeche Mode, Tears for Fears, yeah, yeah. Um, and and yeah. Uh, Gowan, not Lawrence Gowan. Gowan. Yeah. We you, were you listening to a me. lot of Criminal Minds. That's the <laughs> Criminal Minds. I've been addicted to that. <clears throat> yeah. um, and then uh, you know, and then it goes all the way to to uh, Euro metal, and and <laughs> you know, I don't know nothing about Euro metal other than playing with Lacuna Coil a couple times. <laughs> that's yeah. all. Yeah. That's as far as the extent of my knowledge to it goes, but. Um, but even still, like it, it's it's all like even when we're we're going through these different sort of flavors of different genres and all that, it still maintains like a punk feel to it, like this attitude. This, it's this nasty attitude, it's nasty. Dirty. It's, it's fucking, it's raw and um, it's mean. It's got political yeah. messages. It's got you yeah. know I important messages, and I think that's some of the things that punk bands do better than any other uh, yeah. genre of music. Right. Um, in my opinion, anyway, they've always been not afraid to speak their minds and and to yeah. to just because who's who, who's who's listening? You know, they've always had that attitude. I don't care if you listen or not. And, no, and a lot of this album is like that. I, I I want you to listen to it. I want you to like it. But I don't care if if that's yeah. Not the we way you we take wrote it. we we wrote this as our best effort of writing our own music. You know, without thinking of anything else other than what we totally like and what really works for us. Right. So and. Um, uh, you know, and but that said, and everything, we also wanted to write a record with you guys, yeah, and absolutely. and and if you weren't a part of this and you're watching this now for the first time, and you you really have no idea what Six Side Die is, what's really cool is that our fans funded this entire record, and every time we wrote a song, we would post it. Uh, for the most part, we stopped near the end because we wanted to keep some of the secrets um, there, but uh, we got the fans' input, and and they were able to say whether they liked it or they didn't, and we got messages favoring both, you know, and and um, I, I think it's extremely rare that a band would show an entire song, let alone what we did, which was six or seven full songs, to let them hear it ahead of time. I think, though, at the beginning, uh, we all, as a lot of musicians do, we felt uh, a pressure, you know, we thought, okay, we need to write, you know, hooky songs, stuff that's going to get us noticed in a more radio form, and then I think you guys kind of helped us realize that you know we should just fucking do what we want to do and just fully open ourselves up and go heavy and hard basically do what we really love and that's why i f when that fucking happened to me i became super happy and super creative and i was like you know what i'm just gonna write what i love and i'm gonna do my best and, and it was cool too right yeah. you, you hit it right on because like the fans were were in to the ep and, and even if they weren't, they were extremely supportive, you know, like, and that, mm -hmm. that was really important because I was getting over definitely uh, an injury that, um, you know, it's, it's neither, it, 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 I don't think I could have sang again. I, I was at that point and I didn't want to even sing, yeah. but, um, you know, it, it was a good goal for me to say, I'm going to do it anyway. And uh, I wrote that record with the producer. Um, the band hadn't even formed yet. 
So this is our first go. This is this is something that you know bands work seven, eight, nine years to write an album, and we've done it in under a year, putting the album together. Um, and we want to play on that level. We don't want to play on this is our first album. We want to play on no, I mean, yeah, this is our first album, but you know we know what we're doing. <laughs> we've, that, we've, that, all, yeah. we've all been doing this over you know fifteen years, mm -hmm. and uh, you know we we're sick of that whole process. We've been through it so many times that we know what to do. We know how, how to write music. We know how to, um, this is what we excel at in life. This is what we've chosen to do. We've done it for so long that, you know, we, uh, it, it, you know, this is what we, we love to do. So, I mean. And um, the man who recorded the album? John. John. Just John. John Howard. John Howard. Yeah. John uh, is, is, Pat's friend, um, or you could say the singer of Pat's band, John, uh, John is the singer of Threat Signal, and um, John did this probably the biggest solid, the greatest favor ever. Um, you know, we raised four thousand dollars on Indiegogo, which is not even close to enough money to make an album. Not even like when you think about it, it's like one song. Thirty-five hundred is generally like a normal number for one song. That you know what it is. With a master, four thousand bucks is the cost of most of these bands paid to mix their album. Well, one song yeah. off their album. So like, you know, you, you that's look true. At, yeah, yeah, that's true. You look at these big guns like Lord Elch, yeah. and them. They're, they're spending you know thirty five hundred dollars a tune just to mix it. Mm -hmm. um, and we're trying to do an entire record with a mix for four thousand bucks. And you know, not that we we weren't able to put in some of our own money to tip it over the the you know the hill there, so to speak, but. John did a ton of work. John made it sound like a professional album should sound yeah. for a fraction of the cost um, just because he was awesome. Yeah, lifesaver, totally. <laughs> so Shit. we're Every, extremely thankful. We're, 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 in, we're, we're you know, um, greatly indebted to, to John, to all you guys out there. Um, I mean, seriously, yeah, like it's... Uh, we're very lucky. We're very lucky guys uh, to be doing what we're doing and to have you guys support us in order to do this. So, and not to say there wasn't a few problems, you know, other than the financial aspect, because there definitely was uh, a lot of difficulties making this record happen. Uh, we ended up having really nowhere to write for the first little bit, so we wrote it in a band room that had no heat in the winter. Yeah, it was like what three degrees probably. Yeah, I wasn't gonna do it in my yeah, house. It was ridiculous. I mean, we're gonna do it in your house. No, we're gonna keep people awake that way. So yeah, uh, we we did it there, and that was that was a little tough. It's weird though, you know, the the struggle kind of, you know, the, the suffering. I guess it sort of leads to uh, you come up with things when you're not in a comfortable situation that you wouldn't otherwise have come up with, you know. Uh, and we work quick. <laughs> you work like, quick because you want to get, you wanna get home, going. Right? Yeah, get out of there. Take so, a hot shower or something, right? It was yeah, super cold. Yeah. And then uh, even when we were trying to record the album, even when we were on our way down to Hamilton to make this album uh, track drums, we, we, <laughs> we drove Kelly because as, as drummers are, they don't have cars. That's just the golden rule. If you're going to have a band and you're going to have a drummer in your band, he's not going to yeah, have a allowed, car. They're not allowed to have a, a car. They're just not going to do it because yeah. that's the way they are. Call them lazy, call them useless. I don't know. They hit shit. That's all they do. Yeah. So, um, you know, we, uh, we were driving down and, and there was a, a marathon that had just sprung up right around John's studio and there was absolutely no way for us to cross and get there. We, we showed up. How many roads did we try? We tried almost every road. It was almost as Three hours of There was like a, a perimeter around. around his house. <laughs> it was, it was completely up. impenetrable. It was like, <laughs> you had to have, literally you would have had to flown in with a helicopter to get to his house. But we could see his house. We could see we his could house. See it. We just couldn't get the band and the gear over there yeah. to actually start making the album. Uh, and we took some video of it, but um, you know, we it was actually kind of just strange in, in the sense that the, uh, the Boston bombings happened um, and the marathon there just a few days, a few days after, after yeah. you know, we, we started making this album. and. Um, you know, it just felt a little bit insensitive to go and, and, and do that. So, um, yeah. either way, you know, there were problems. There were, were a lot of things that stood in our way of making this album. But we knew when we wrote the first tune that that, uh, that we were going to make it. And uh, we're thankful for you guys for helping us make this album. 
uh, and always, we wish we could have gotten to you sooner, but like we said, we were working on other people's time uh, as they were doing us huge favors, and uh, we just kind of had to do what uh, we had to do when we were able to do it. That's right, yeah. So enjoy what you're about to hear. We're going to set up each song, talk a little bit about it, and uh, hopefully you're really pumped for that FNL.